Hi everyone. In this video, I wanted to walk through the newly generally available Microsoft PC Manager. Now this tool is free. It's available in the Microsoft Store. So if you search for Microsoft PC Manager, you just go ahead and then you'll click Install. Once installed, you'll click Open and it will show you this window. Now it starts on the home screen where it's giving you the option to manage pop-up management, turn on PC boost, and some various health check, process, deep cleanup, and startup options. So this tool is really designed to help me clean up my PC. You may have heard of tools in the past like C Cleaner. Well, this is a native Microsoft offering that's similar, but it's not gonna have all of the exact same capabilities. Now this tool is really leveraging some of the existing abilities in the OS. For example, storage sense, disk cleanup, window security features, task manager capabilities, but it's trying to bring it to the forefront. Now, if you're a PC expert, you probably don't need this utility, but if you're maybe just a casual user, it may help you optimize your PC a little bit. So we can do pop-up management, for example, it's prompting me here, so I can just enable this, which will block a lot of the pop-up options. So I could just go ahead and turn that on to block a lot of the pop-ups. The PC Boost is not 100% clear what this is doing. I think it's really in times of contention. Then it's gonna go ahead and do things like maybe optimize some of the processes that are running in memory, maybe clean up some of your temporary space. So it's just gonna help you in times of contention settings. And then we have these various health checks processes. So if we start with protection, it can hook into the native Windows security capabilities for antivirus. Hey, are we running the latest updates? Really the biggest thing most of us can do to protect ourselves is to stay current with patching. And then it's got some options around changing the browser settings, repair the taskbar if you've got problems, reset your default apps, and that pop-up management. So just a number of different options to bring some of the key things to the forefront. In the storage side, we can do this deep cleanup. This is similar to the disk cleanup tool, and it's gonna go and scan the various areas of your machine where maybe you can save some space. So it's talking about things here like, well, Windows Update, Windows Error Reporting, Microsoft Defender Temporary Files. I don't particularly like the fact that it's showing the Windows Prefetch. It's not selected by default on my machine, which is good. The Prefetch is the folder that helps speed up launching of certain applications. It's generally very small. I think if you were to clear it, it would just repopulate and slow down the launching of those applications. Because it goes to all these different areas, you can go and select. And so here I could claim back 594 megabytes, so I could hit proceed. And it's super quick. So you can see it's gone through and it's done that cleanup. Additionally, we have this idea of looking for large files and it hooks into Storage Sense. So Storage Sense, this is a feature that's just part of the OS, but as you can see, it can run during load disk space options all of the time, every day, every week, every month. Hey, automatically delete files in the recycle bin, automatically delete files in the downloads based on a certain number of days, and also some of the cached content you have from the cloud. So this is just a native feature of the OS that it's really bringing to the forefront for you. For the applications, these are things available in Task Manager, but it's showing me all processes that are running, the impact on the apps that are starting, I could disable them from here, manage apps that are rarely used, hook into the Microsoft Store. And then for the toolbox, we have these core Windows tools. It has some custom links. I deleted all of the custom links it came with. You can just click the edit and then you can hit the delete button. You can add your own. But if you show this toolbar, you get this certain set of, hey, resources used, if you wanna use the boost, screenshot, edge links. I added one of my custom ones. If you click the little settings, when it says add tools, it will give you a list of all the different options available. 
but you could also remove ones that it's included via the minus sign. So you do have the option to remove some of those default ones if you want to. You can go ahead and add other ones. But if I close PC Manager, then this will just go ahead and stay on the screen. And I could go and move that down wherever I want it. But if we go back and open it up again, and I don't want that setting in my toolbox, we can see we can launch certain tools. And then in just the settings, well, we can configure that Smart Boost. We can have certain shortcuts to enable that custom um, pop-up management. Do you want to launch it automatically when you start up? And that's really it. So it's really just here to help bring to the forefront a lot of the existing capabilities that already existed in the OS. But again, if you're a general user, this is not something you typically focus on, you go through and it may help definitely from a, a patching and antivirus, maybe clean up some of those files. Um, it can help get your PC a bit cleaner. Hope that was useful. To next video, take care.